Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the plugin tab. Now this is a really useful plugin that's easy to use and very customizable. It allows you to do a couple of things. The first one is you can customize the formatting of players names and info above their head. And then if I hit the tab key on my keyboard you can see a ton of cool customization in the tab box up here. Loads of good stuff up there, you can fully customize it, add animations and various different things like that and we're going to show you how to use it effectively. So as you can see up at the top it says welcome there's a pretty cool animation happening there which is by default I didn't create that but you could change it if you wanted to. Then you've got some other things popping up like the memory that's being used, the date, uh, your website, various pings etc. Um, so that is effectively what you can do with this plugin. So let's jump into the commands that are in game before we jump into the config show you how to change it in there. So the first thing we want to do is actually uh, do forward slash sun because this rain is rather annoying and then if you do forward slash tab that's going to show you all of the commands. Now you could do tab cpu to see how much cpu usage is used with this plugin so tons of information there and it's a really tiny percentage so you don't have to worry about that too much. What we can do is forward slash tab and then either group if you have a permissions plugin so if you have like luck perms or permissions x or something you can change how a particular group looks. Unfortunately, I don't have that for my server, but what you can do is do it for a single player. So let's go ahead and use my other account, um, and let's go ahead and change the property. Now there's a few different ones. If I just put a random letter, it will say invalid. So you've got the tab prefix and suffix, so you've got the custom tab name, and then you've got below the name and above the name. So let's just change a couple of them. Let's do below the name, and that is going to affect what is right in front of us. Um, let's just put something random so and as you can see he now has a custom um, name below his actual name in game which we can all see. If I bring up his view I have one on my head as well that I set earlier so that's just something you can do obviously you can make it look a lot better than I just did there. If we hit tab and look at the two players you can see I have an admin prefix prior to mine and I just set that in the same method so what we could do is do tab prefix for my other account and then you can add anything you want you could do brackets and then not very inventive I know and then you can change the color codes of the brackets and there you go so now it says hello in brackets uh, before my other accounts name so if you're not happy with that and quite frankly I'm not because it looks a mess you can do full slash tab player and then Cristalano and remove to get rid of it because that looks absolutely ugly um, and hopefully you can do a lot better than me so here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and we want to go into the tab folder and once we're in here there's a few different YML files. Let's just start at the top in the animations.yml. This is where you can customize certain animations and then use them in the config file. So if we scroll down to the bottom to a particular animation that I'm trying to find. So here's the welcome one. We looked at this one in game. So it's called welcome and then you have all of the different um, intervals. So every 400 is going to change from W to the next one to WE, WEL, etc. Um, and it just constantly runs through this loop. Then we've got one for time. You can see we've got time and date placeholders here. So percentage, date, percentage, that just grabs today's date. Same thing for ping, and then we've got an admin prefix. So you could set that for all your admins if you wanted. So if you wanted, you could go ahead and create more of these. You could tweak them, but effectively you just create um, a new line for every change you want to make. Make it small, um, and then it should look nice. And then obviously change the interval. So that's the first thing. And the next thing we want to do is go into the config.yml. This is where we can make certain changes. So one thing that is important is this part down here, line 70. So you saw in game that I was changing the look of people's names above and below their head. Uh, in order for that to work, when you do the command in game, you need to set this to true. By default, it's false. So make sure you do that. Uh, to start with. Then we've got the different users, so here's myself and currently I've got above name, hello, and this is my tab prefix. Obviously you could edit it in the config but it's probably easier in game. Um, if we scroll up to the top we've got all the different groups so you could customize that for your particular server. And then we have what the tab looks like. So here's the he header, you've got your server name which you could obviously put your own server there. Then we have animation colon welcome. So it's going to take the animation from the other file which is called welcome um, and then it's going to pop it in here and then it will just play it as normal. So you can see that's how you would use it. So make sure you put the percentage sign here, otherwise it will not work. 
Um, but that is how you would add a particular animation and obviously you could customize this, make loads of them and change how this looks. Go down we've got customizing each group. So for each group you could set a tab prefix, a tag prefix, you could set a suffix for those if you wanted. Um, so you can really customize it and you can see for the admin they actually do get the animation here um, and that's how you would do it. So percentage, animation, colon, the name of the animation and the percentage sign. If we scroll down you can disable certain features in world so you can put your world name here like creative or, or whatever you want to get rid of and then how often things update so every thousand milliseconds uh, it's going to update uh, your ping etc. So quite a long file but not too difficult to customize if you want and then the translation.yml this is going to be all the text that you see in chat. Now if you do want to download this plugin it's not actually on Spig it's on something called MC Market which typically has um, premium plugins but this one is free you can see download not available you do need to create an account which is free as well um, and then once you do that log in and it will be free for you to download um, as you can see you can really customize it make it very colorful and creative so that is the plugin if you want a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time